gratis. Con precios bajos, tú decides los favores de esta cuarentena. We found this lady uh, that is selling grasshoppers. Karina. Karina. ¿Qué es lo amor para ti? ¿Qué es el amor? Sí. Familia. Familia. Muy bonita respuesta. Sí, ¿verdad? Pesos el kilo, pechuga de pollo corte americano, 59 pesos el kilo. Es like potato chip. Tiapia, It's the last day in this part of Mexico City. Now we're heading to Xochimilco. And our host uh, gave us this that is, uh, I think it's a sweet from Oaxaca. Uh, and it's wrapped in leaves. <laughs> And the best thing is that I had three of them. Hmm. Mm. It smells like tomato. Mm. Two weeks in Mexico City and we already felt like home. We were a part of this big family. Liliana, with her smile every day, would give us the best huaraches. Antonia, her mother, said that if we don't have any money one day, we could see her and she would give us food. Cecilia, one of the most kind persons I know, who was always giving us things. And finally, you should meet one last incredible person before we leave this town. You can't believe what happened yesterday. Every day it goes to the same place to eat a waracha in Liliana's place, right? And right next to it, there's a cake shop. And uh, we never went to this cake shop because we don't want to get fat. But we went there yesterday, we stopped for a second and the man started to talk with us. And then he was like, oh, take this for free. Oh, take this for free. He was giving us cakes like, oh my God, such a generosity. Every cake in Alonso's bakery is a family recipe. Alonso opened his shop, his home and his art to two strangers he never met before. We had a full tour on how to do cakes and he even invited us to spend some time one day with his beautiful family in his birth town. As if he didn't give us enough already, he even didn't let us pay for our last cake bag before we left. I guess his secret ingredient is not a special pasta or a different sauce. It's love, human kindness and generosity. And I will never forget what he did for us. Tus padres te enseñaron a pasar por niños. Sí, desde pequeño, a los 12 años. ¿Y tu hija va a hacer este trabajo también? Pues lo más seguro que sí. Oh. Lo más seguro. Este, pues ya es familiar. Sí. Es familiar y este, es una tradición. Durante, ya llevamos como 30 años de, wow. en la panadería. Es común aquí en México. ¿Y tú sabes que es un trabajo que tú haces las personas felices todos los días? Porque toda la gente fica feliz con bolines de azúcar. Sí. <risa> Amor, pues... Amor al pan, amor al, a la familia, sí. amor pues a ustedes, oh. ¿no? que son bienvenidos en México. Gracias, ¿no? Alfonso. Este, y cuando quieran venir, estamos aquí. Muchas gracias. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Así oh. es, un convite. Estamos muy felices en conocer. Nosotros igual. Yo cuando lo vi, pues les agarré cariño. Ahí estamos, cuando quieran venir los puedo llevar a mi casa.
Hiroshi Milko, a region built upon water, forming beautiful channels. A city that still preserves the traditional Mexican ways of living. Part two with good huarache ladies, like a, a, a row of ladies selling huaraches in their cute baskets. <laughs> Boats called Trajineras are the watermark of Xochimilco. In the past, they were used as water taxis to carry people and goods from one side to another. And then they were transformed into a huge tourism attraction. We are in one of the most known channels of Xochimilco and basically a ton of of empty boats and people running to you asking do you want a boat, do you want a boat? So imagine the impact that Corona had here and the less tourists that they had and I don't know how these people are gonna feed their families with so less tourists but yeah it's very sad. 